So what is the hottest event happening this weekend? I'll give you a hint. You have to wake up before 8 a.m. on Sunday to participate. Still don't know? Hello, people. It's the annual Beta Breakers, one of the most recognized foot races on the planet. If you haven't registered yet, it's not too late. Right now, you can register online. And for the first time ever, all registered participants will get a specially created timing chip. It's the first in a series of five collectible chips leading up to the 100th anniversary of the race. <laughs> there is a winery every mile along that. Really? Every yeah. mile? Yeah. I love that when you're cycling, you see so much more detail that you'd never see in a car, from the air that you breathe to the detail. Yeah, it really is a perfect pace to see an area, isn't it, I think? Holy cow, look at that! Well, I have a proposition for Friday night. Spencer, Janelle, you want to join me you're here? Welcome. Come on down, definitely. Blanche, I think you're a pyro, deep down. I it's, it's bad. I'm addicted to this thing. Look it. I mean, how, <laughs> how can you not be addicted to this thing? Oh, and he's responding over yeah, there. I feel like a pirate on a ship. Uh, <laughs> if someone starts firing so back at you, you run. Yeah, if you catch your hair on fire, you're toast, girl. You see oh these things here? God. It's just like a big old white thing. And it's all squishy no. inside, probably. Would you like to try one? No, no, I can't. I are can't sure? do it. I can't do it. Well, are you, I can't. How about if I cook it? You cook these things too? Yeah, we I can make a stew. We can get some potatoes, a little bit of water, put a little chicken bouillon cube oh in it. God. How about if I cook it up and we'll just have a nice stew for it? Oh, that's good. Is Come it on. good? Oh, yeah, it is. You got to try it. You know what? I'm just, you know? Just have a little flavor there. Just, just a little it. bit. Oh, that smell good? Don't, ah! let, don't, let me get, don't let me guilt you into this, man. All right, yeah, you're good at guilt. Oh, here. Oh, yeah. How was that? Salty? That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Now, you ready for I'm the not, live Yeah, one? I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't. No. I, I honestly... I'm the live ones. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no. oh. They're actually better. But... Now, the last one smells like your uncle's armpits. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uncle Toulouse. <laughs> uncle Toulouse. And this one has five cheeses. So this this one's is the stinkiest. This is called Bresciannella Stagionata. And it's from Italy as well. That's Italian for very stinky. Right? Yeah, very stinky, <laughs> but it's really, really smooth. Okay, really okay. smooth. This one has, um, what do you think? It's from Lombardy as well. Oh, my God. Come on, you like the taste. You know you like it, Spencer. You know you do. Oh, this is terrible. Isn't it great, though? Oh, yeah. This is a hilarious part. They're going to have a Bow Wow buffet <laughs> and, and a regular uh, elegant champagne brunch for the pet owners. Instead of a Lido deck, they're going to have a poop deck <laughs> because oh! after the Bow Wow buffet, they're going to have to unload some action. You got that right. And, it's uh, going to be a poop deck. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to give out goodie bags. This is hysterical. They have doggy beer. This is called... Happy Tail Ale, that's part of the goodie bag. That Wait, the so dog, cool. that's for the dog. These are for the dogs, they're non-alcoholic. Okay, okay. Just to let people know. Are your dog can go on the wag then. <laughs> oh, 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 I got that. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've got, uh, this is the fe Fetch the Paper. It's uh, for Bay Area Pets and their um, owners. Okay. So it's like a Fetch, yeah. <laughs> good job, good job. Heel, heel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then that was me. <laughs> Are these people on something? I mean, <laughs> and then and then a cute little hat for the doggy. Isn't oh, that that's cute? Tapas. How many tapas restaurants are here in the Bay Area? Well, Quite there, a few, I would well, suspect. Well, there are more than ever before, and they're really great because they're great for people who like to nosh, like me. Yeah. I don't like big, fat dinners. I like to nosh on different things. Small plates. Right. right. And in Spain, it's really what carries ahead, them Lee. over. You take that one. I'll take the one with the cheese. I'll, You'll I'll take the one with the make cheese. Make the cheese. I'm yeah. just going to yeah, squeeze a little bit of lemon. So basically, <laughs> I took the tuna, I put yeah, the peppers sure. over, and a couple of olives on top just to make it pretty. There okay. you go. Well, maybe maybe one olive. <laughs> and then just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And look how pretty that is. There are hundreds of marinas on the Delta. This one's called Vieira's Marina. I love going fishing, so I thought I'd buy some bait first right here at Riverside Bait. Hope to score some night crawlers. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Vieira's Riverside Bait. Cool. I want to go fishing, and I, you know, when I was a kid, I always strung up night crawlers. You night have crawlers. some? Oh, I love those little critters. I'm using night crawlers. Whoa. Oh, wow. oh yeah. These those are nice. For you? These are nice and juicy. I think a lot of fish would dig these. Woohoo. 
Where is the best place to go fishing here? Right downtown Isleton. Downtown Isleton? What kind of fish? Well, you're going to catch some catfish, and probably bluegill, striped bass. You don't know, maybe even a sturgeon. All right, we made it to our destination on the Delta in Isleton, which is right off of the Sacramento River. This town is also known as Crawdad, USA, because every year around Father's Day, this little town of 840 people gets over 200,000 visitors. Why? Because they come to eat this specialty right here. These lovely crawdads. Say hello. These kids are screaming <laughs> their heart out. And the prize was gummy eyeballs. Oh. Then they had <laughs> pumpkin carving contest. Look at the creations these kids have made. That is nice. So cute. Oh, and he even brought look <laughs> He's, actually, he's a actually, pumpkin head. Um, I have a surprise. Well, I tried my hand at, at pumpkin so carving as well. Oh, oh, look at that. oh my gosh. I'm, there you I'm are. with those two girls. They were so adorable. They were like, What are you doing? I'm like, Maybe they, you could help me out. Because uh -huh. I was really intently working on this project and I decided to bring it here too so that okay. I could show you. What did and you yeah, make? Check it out, what I made. Uh -uh. It says, you did? <laughs> well, I not can't, really. I, I wish I made it. I got a lot of assistance. Put it that, that way. That is so nice. I guess it's nice. just me from the bay, right? <laughs> that is <laughs> so from the bay. nice. Oh, let's get and it. I, have, I wonder if we can get a And I have another cute. surprise for you. Um, I brought something straight from the Harvest Fair that mm -hmm. I really wanted to share with you. And you know what? I'll, I'll bring just... Bring it over, guys. Here, here, bring it bring on it over Bobby. for us. Thank you. That's Bob's grape hand. Juice. This is fresh. Well, it's fresh grape juice that I got from the Harvest Not Festival. wine, but grape juice, right? Grape juice. It's not wine. I want Ooh, you to try great. some. It smells so good. Hey, just cheers. try some. Great. Mm. Yeah, is it good? You could put your glasses this down. This is not That's Welch's. Awesome. This is actual grape juice? Grape juice. Mm. Yes. You could put it down okay. now, and I'll tell you where this, these grapes came from. Okay. There was some grape stomping going on earlier. Uh, oh, no. And uh, oh, check no. it out. These kids are going <laughs> yeah. at it. Jared, this view is absolutely stunning over here. Pie Ranch, how did you come up with this name? If we were a bird, you'd notice that we are a pie-shaped piece of land. Once we realized that um, wonderful pie ingredients grow well here on the coast, we thought, <laughs> let's, let's go with it. Well, you also took it to the next level. Not only did you grow the pie ingredients, but you also called up Mission High School. And what made you make that call and set this whole program up for the kids? Well, we know we wanted to work with high school students from the city. And uh, Mission High being the oldest high school west of the Rockies, we realized that it would be great to have the beginnings of this effort start with that first school in California. Well, can I get a tour from everyone and get a bird's eye view of how this farming is taking place? Oh, yes, definitely. Right. What you get from organic produce and sustainably grown foods is the best flavor. Teach me all you know about strawberry picking. What are you looking for exactly? Well, the strawberry picking is pretty easy. We're just looking for the strawberries that are nice and red all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, and the ones that are obviously have some holes in them or have been bitten by the bugs or a little brown, we're not going to use. Mm -hmm. You were teaching gardening class at Mission High? I was teaching sort of an environmental science class. And um, the people from Mission Pie were looking for an urban school to work with, and they came to our vice principal and she had known that I started this garden project at Mission. We built garden boxes and we're growing some food and stuff. So she asked me, so it was a, a very natural fit. They're here all the time and, and enjoying the learning and the picking, but I think one of the real benefits has been that we eat together. And I don't know how many kids always have that experience. You know, we eat as a whole group together, all our meals, we cook all our meals together. So it's been really, you know, <gasps> Oh my nice gosh. This is really a different experience than being in an inner city classroom, is it not? I love that you're not even scared to hold that snake. Oh my god. It's not poisonous, is it? No, it's a garden snake. Oh my goodness. Well, you're teaching these kids to be fearless too. I'm very impressed. We do our best. <laughs>